Hello, I'm Mike Pearson. Just over a decade ago, Iowa Public Television put together a documentary exploring how these classic tractors changed the landscape of agriculture. This time, we're going to turn the cameras around and hear the stories of the collectors who cherish and maintain these mechanical beasts. We're going to put a bolt in this bottom left corner. I got tipped off by a guy from Florida that told me I was collecting crawlers more than. John Deere's, we've got 730s, 2010s, 1010s, 4010s, 3010s. And he'll bring up the memories of him actually using it uh, how many years ago and us wanting to restore it and that's how I ended up restoring his Oliver 88 was because that was his tractor that he used. This is just a great way to have a little toy. This is my golf and everything else so that's why I like it. Ferruccio Lamborghini started out building tractors before he built cars. I don't care what nationality, John Deere, international case, whatever, they, that's how this country got the way it is because of those type of inventing type people that made our society the way it is today. Ours, we have 66s, 88s, both gas and diesels. I'm interested in the lesser known tractors. Usually if, if I'm gonna buy one, I'll buy one that's, uh, you know, not everyone's heard of. And I enjoy the extra challenge. You know, you can't get parts, so you gotta work out a little harder. That's how I met my wife, was through uh, Grand Rally Tractors. Internationals, oh, we've got a lot of internationals too. We've got uh, 300s, 400s, 450s, 240. How many more do you want? Cock shuts, we've got uh, a 40. Tractor collecting doesn't have to be about a pretty tractor that you take to show. Uh, tractor collecting is something that you enjoy it can be a rough old tractor in its work clothes, grease dripping all over it, but you can use it, have fun, enjoy it. That's what it's about. You, you just gotta enjoy it. 